Today, I'm giving you my top five tips to getting your house ready to be inspected by an appraiser for your refinance appraisal. My name is Brent, and I'm a certified appraiser in Washington State. So let's get started. Tip number one, make sure you have adequate smoke detectors and CO detectors. Now, most lenders uh, require proof of installed smoke and CO detectors, so you're gonna want them installed. I would check with your local laws to see how they should be installed, but most appraisers will look for one on every level and in including the bedrooms. While it may not be required in every instance, it's not worth the $150 fee to have them come back. And well, honestly, you should have them anyway. Tip number two, if you have a hot water tank, make sure it's strapped. I would say 90% of lenders will, are gonna require this. Again, check with your local laws, but most code is gonna require two earthquake straps one on the top third and one on the bottom third. Tankless hot water heaters do not need to be strapped. Put a list together of major upgrades and updates that you have done. And a bonus tip, don't put all the small things, keep it short and to the point. Examples are an upgraded kitchen or new high-end appliances. Maybe you put in new floors or an all new roof, new windows, new mechanicals such as plumbing, electrical, or new furnace. These are all the type of things that are helpful to an appraiser do some research before your appraiser arrives for the inspection. Now, the appraiser is not allowed to ask what you think your house is worth, but it doesn't stop you from giving him information. Now, I wouldn't give him an outright number. I think my house is worth 500,000. I don't think that's gonna really help, but rather what I would do is do some research. Search for some comparables in your area. Go to Redfin, go to Zillow. They have sold listings in your area. I would suggest starting uh, get the appraiser's email before the appointment is set and send them before he gets there because he's going to look them up before he gets there. Here's a quick tip. When you go to Redfin, stay as close to the area um, of your house as you can and try to find the most similar comps in style and square footage. That's kind of where you want to start when learning how to value your house. Is to remove any clutter that might hinder the inspection. Now appraisers are trained to look past the cleanliness of a home, so I'm not saying you have to clean your home. That's not going to affect the value. However, there are many times that we run into areas that actually hinder the inspection um, because there's just too much clutter. I've been in, gone, tried to go into bedrooms. It's floor to ceiling stuff, and you can't even see what's in there. Or I can't get to the hot water to inspect that because they're definitely going to need to inspect that. If you're doing an FHA appraisal. The appraiser's gonna need access to the attic and to the crawl space. So moving stuff out of closets um, to get to the crawl space or you know, moving stuff out of closets, a lot of times they're in the master closet. Uh, to move stuff out of the way to get a little ladder up there. Moving all that clutter is gonna speed up uh, the inspection and also might avoid them coming back. Those are my four tips. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and like and subscribe for more videos.